Hey there, my name is Eric Tano and I am an instrumental music teacher in New Jersey. I teach six to eight band mostly um, in a fairly affluent district. Our sixth and seventh graders uh, are one to one with Chromebooks and next year all three grades six through eight will be one to one so they have this technology available at their fingertips. If, um, if your kids don't it might be a little more difficult um, but here's how I started doing some assessments. Um, normally we do playing, uh, playing assessments in class uh, in front of students they get immediate rubric feedback um, but I thought that it would be nice to allow the kids a chance to do some work at home um, and it also gives them a chance to redo their test as many times as they like what they don't realize is of course that they're actually practicing the music every time they redo the video um, but they seem to like it and here's how I've found uh, here's how I use Google Classroom uh, and a couple other uh, Google Drive and a couple other add-ons to make grading really really simple um, and I hope effective I think just about as effective as we would do in class alright so here's how we I've got my screen set up here on the left this is my teacher my teacher window on the right this is my student window so you can see what it'll look like from the student side and from the teacher side so on the left here I'm going to create an assignment dive right in here video assessment Normally I would put instructions here. Um, you can do it any way you like. You can give it to multiple classes if you want. I'm going to just hang out and do this one test class. So I'm, I am in my own test class. So you'll see on the right the stream will be updated and now I see uh, on the right the assignment has been given. So I'm going to go over to the student side here um, and, uh, and take a look at the assignment. Now this is what's really neat about the uh, Classroom app on iPhones or Android is that it actually has an, an option to add a video right from the device, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, on Chromebooks and computers, you can't do it right from uh, Google Classroom. So I've found um, that the ClipChamp app seems to work really well. Kids can use whatever they'd like. Uh, I really don't care. Some of them use their iPhones, iPads, their computers at home. As long as they get the video to me, that's all that really matters. So here's what I do um, with ClipChamp. You record a video. Uh, that's me. Hi. And uh, make sure that you've got the right camera selected. You've got the right microphone selected. Now, I will tell you, because I'm recording audio already, the audio that comes out of this is bad. But normally, under regular circumstances, the audio is actually really good uh, that comes out of this on the Chromebooks. So anyway, I'm going to record the video. I'm going to hit spacebar. Whoops. This is my playing test. I'm happy with it. I hit finished recording. Uh, it's going to create the video. That usually takes a little longer because it's usually a longer file. You can even test it here. This is my Again, the audio is not great, but you get the idea. So we share the video. You can either save it to their computer and attach it that way, or they can do it directly via Google Drive. I really like this option. Um, that one's up to you. So we're going to call this my playing test. I've already connected Google Drive. It'll probably ask you to allow the permission to use it. Uh, we're going to save it here in, I don't know, we'll call it Classroom. It really doesn't matter. You have to save it in a folder somewhere. Um, so here we go, Mr. D's Test Class 1. Now once you see this link here, that means that the file exists. It's not actually done rendering the video yet, but you can still attach the video to the assignment. So you go back to Google Classroom, we add a Google Drive, or you can add a, um, a file or a link if you do it some other way. And so we're going to go into Classroom, Mr. D's test class, there we go. And my playing test, there's my video. So I'm going to attach it. I've marked it and I'm going to turn it in. Don't worry about the broken link right here. That's only because the video hasn't finished been being rendered. You can still play with the video and, uh, and attach it. So we're going to turn it in. And that's it. On the student side, things are done until they get their uh, rubric back. So I'm going to minimize this window. And I'm going to maximize this one here. So now I'm back in the teacher side of things. You'll see that there's one done. 
guess what? It was my playing test. Now you can actually view the video right from here if you'd like, but the real fun part I think happens uh, a little bit differently. And, and I say fun because I think I'm a little crazy, um, but um, you can always check out the video here once it's done uh, rendering. So we're gonna go into Google Drive. This is where it gets interesting. We're going to have to create a spreadsheet where you're going to keep track of all your students' grades and all of their uh, videos. Now, this is going to be done automatically. You just have to create the spreadsheet. So I'm going to put it in a folder that I created called Classroom. It's in Classroom. It's called Doctopus. You can call it whatever you would like. We're going to create a new spreadsheet. Video assessment can't type assessment very well video assessment trial grades now this is where it gets really cool you add on um, an add-on you may have heard of it called Doctopus if you don't have it you just go and find it over here you add it for free you got to give it permission to access your stuff and it'll automatically pop right up. If it doesn't, you just go to setup, but it's already popped up. So you want to use Doctopus uh, in the mode where it ingests a Google Classroom assignment. I'm going to select your class. In this case, it's Mr. D's test class one. Now I'm the only student in this class, so that's cool. Video assessment trial is the assignment that I just created. You choose your assignment. Um, you can either choose to have all the students who've turned it in or just the students, uh, all the students who've turned it in or everybody, whether they've turned it in or not. I'm going to ingest assignment and after a few moments, you're going to see that I pop up here. If there were more students in this class, they would be popping up here along the left side and you'd have the same information for all of them. Looks good. You can watch the video from the link, but this is where it gets really neat. You don't have to. Go over to Attach Gubric. Uh, now I've created a rubric already. If you don't have a rubric, you're going to have to do that um, before you do this step. I'll show you where uh, how I set up my rubric and feel free to uh, use it or change it however you'd like. I have it in this folder called Forms. Performance rubric, instrumental. The only thing that has to happen is across the top, you've got to have the actual numbers here. And across the left, you've got to have the skills. In here, you can have whatever you'd like. So for the 20-point categories, their notes are great, their rhythms are great, tone is great, dynamics are great, and articulations are great. And then so on and so forth down the list. And I have zero um, for students who really don't demonstrate any knowledge of the particular concept. Uh, very rarely do students get an actual zero in any of these categories. Um, so anyway, I've created my rubric. I go back to Gubric, and I attach my rubric, which is pretty cool. You can also copy or um, create a new one here. You can play around with it, see what works for you. I created my rubric ahead of time and then just used it here. It's a performance rubric instrumental is the one that I created. Again, just remember what you called it. I don't want to allow self and peer assessment. Now, this link right here, this just is if you want to send your rubric to your students ahead of time, you can, you can do it right now. My students know the rubric already, so I usually keep this unchecked. I'll show you what happens from a student standpoint when you leave it checked. So we're gonna attach the rubric. And I'll show you what happens from the student standpoint here. Now we're gonna get rid of these guys. There you go. It sends an email to the student just showing them what the actual rubric looks like, which is nice if they don't really know. Again, my kids know, so I usually keep that unchecked. So I'm going to archive that. We'll go back to the teacher side. All right, so this is where it gets really neat. The assess file. This is my favorite button to click because you start at the top and every student gets a window that looks like this. The rubric is up top and the video is on the bottom. You can go back and forth between the different categories and assign them your different grades. While you're watching them actually do their assignment. Pretty darn cool. You can even add audio comments up here. If you don't see this box, just make sure that you click here on uh, the, uh, the little video camera icon and allow it to use allow the page to use your microphone 
you're going to have to close out and re re reload it, but then you'll be able to give them audio comments. Also, you can give them regular comments. This is the best playing I've ever seen or heard. I will sell my instruments. Yeah. Uh, now you can go down and check out the rest of the options here. Uh, this doesn't matter here. Change students from can view to can comment because they haven't actually you created a Google Doc to submit. If you're using Google Docs, you can play with that. Um, they just created a video, so no no need to worry about that. So when I hit submit, I can choose to email the scores to my student or not. Uh, and I can choose to auto advance to the next student. So I can go bang, 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 right down the list of students, literally a minute and a half to two minutes per kid. Um, I do short quizzes so that I can do this quickly um, and just take a pulse of how they're doing. So I hit submit. And it's done. If you go back to your spreadsheet, you'll now see all the different categories from the rubric and the comment and their actual grades here. The only thing that doesn't happen is it doesn't automatically update their final grade so that you're going to have to do on your own or you can create a formula to do that if you're good with Google Sheets. So this is 15, 30, 45, 55, 65. Oh boy, I need to work on my notes I guess. So anyway, I got a 65 uh, and then I'm going to go back into uh, classroom, I'm just going to add the grade, 65. I can add a comment if I'd like to by clicking on the name here. Check your email. What? For comments. So once I've done that, I return the assignment. Now I'm going to go back to the student side of things. Da, 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 da. I can see here that my work has been returned. It says returned. I can open my assignment. I can see that I got a 65 out of 100 up here on the right hand corner. Uh, and I don't know what that is. Oh, my printer is installing. Thank goodness. Um, and then I can also see my comments, which is cool. And the video is still here. Also, my rubric has been emailed to my student. This is the coolest part. They can see the rubric right up in front of them. The category that they received is in gray, so they can see it as a uh, at a glance. 5, 10, 20, 15, 15 on the points. The comments are here. There's a copy of their um, playing quiz. And if you do it, the audio, um, the audio comments will be here as well. How cool is that? I just think this is awesome. Um, yeah, so you've got the... the uh, the score right here in Google Classroom. You emailed the student their rubric, no more paper. Um, makes it really, really easy. I hope you enjoyed um, this trial uh, of, of this. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, eric, E-R-I-K, at dunno.net, D-O-N-O-U-G-H dot net. Eric at Dunno.net is my email address. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions I can, and I hope this was helpful and that you have many, many happy assessing times ahead of you, and have a great rest of the school year.